Today we are at National Trust Hanbury Hall in the United Kingdom in Worcestershire. So we'll go up to this beautiful house along this drive and we'll see just what they've got inside. There are indeed some wonderful wall paintings. So we will have a look. Sorry about the wind blowing. I hope that's not affecting the mic too much. So Hanbury Hall, there it is, in all its glory. There are beautiful gardens. Well, we'll go inside at the moment and have a little look around. My plan is to have a look around some of the downstairs rooms and then to go up and see the beautiful paintings on the stairwell. And perhaps we'll go up and look up the stairs and have a look at the blue room. So enjoy and thank you for watching. Hanbury Hall, Worcestershire. Now let's see if this adjusts quickly to the light as we go into a dark part. Now this is pine wood. The walls have got are made of pine and the point here is that pine had to be imported because we didn't grow it. Oak was tuppence and penny a piece so that was very cheap. But here he imported pine and then had a very uh, well-known painter paint it. So this is painted wood, it's not real wood. So we'll have a little look round in some of these rooms here. Uh, this looks like a working room here with um, pens and stuff to... More like an office in here. We'll go through to the dining room. Dining room with some beautiful... Again, there are beautiful paintings on the ceiling in here. Paintings on the wall and lovely stucco work, I presume, up there. And now we can look at that. And there's the dining room with the silver. Lovely marble fireplace. Wife? Yeah. Oh, right. Was, was rather, um, obviously wasn't going to put up Fabulous uh, ceiling paintings. You can see the ceiling here, it's all been painted. The whole of this is painted, it looks sort of 3D, but it has been painted. Dining room, uh, sorry, from the dining room we now, this looks like a, a sort of retirement room where you'd come and retire after your meal. Crystal chandelier and more paintings. And a bit of a library as well. There's the guy who owned it, Vernon. And he and his wife died without her children. So it went to this guy. And this guy had the greatest pleasure in squandering it all. Story of ancient homes is a regular one that somebody inherits who's not too good with the money and they squander it. Now, I don't know what room this is. Another little restroom, I suppose. A desk over here, so there's some work. Oh, an entertainment. State of the art entertainment. Look at that. 78s. Whoa. They're a bit later than when the house was uh, made, I think. Different a candelabra or a candle chandelier. I don't know. How would I know? I'm sure you know. Rather nice um, 
pieces over here. Now I should, well, I'll show you. I'll show you the lovely paintings on the stairs. They are superb. And then we'll just have a look at the at the blue bedroom. So here we go. These are Greek mythology, I think. But there's a bit of politics put in because I think some of the people at the time were put into the paintings. Fabulous paintings. The ceiling painting. And of course, there's painting right across the corner of the room. And here's all the information Achilles on the Isle of Cyrus. by this guy. You can stop the video to read this if you were really interested. This is all about these pictures. Going through fairly quickly but you can in fact of course stop the video and read it. Thank you for that. Now we go into the blue bedroom. This is an angel bed. On account, you see at the top there, it's hung up by chains, so they call it an angel bed. This is the blue room for obvious reasons. It's rather a dark blue, but it's the, it's the blue room. Very interesting bed and some nice furniture. Lovely marquetry here. Look at that. Some lovely pieces here. And some lady with oranges all around her. Well, we'll call that a day. We'll um, just go back to the paintings and we'll finish with those beautiful paintings over here. So thank you for watching and bye for now.